All right, what is up, everybody? Joe Dobby back at it again with another weird, um, <laughs> I guess, against the grain type deck here. I'm running my Gred deck, which is a green red deck with an emphasis on piercing and resting, and um, you know, just just getting through security in order to essentially take the win. Um, this deck wants to address your opponent's board state as it takes out security. Um, and it's got a few blockers in there to prevent any early game swings against yours. It's your own security. So without further ado, I'm just going to get it started. Um, for this deck, I am running three copies of... Well, I'm running actually four copies of Baby Demon. And on my turn, if the Digimon has piercing, it gets plus 2000 DP. It's a great way to address any high level, uh, high DP Digimon on the board but also um, survive your security checks um, from piercing. That said, I've got one Freemon that also kind of bounces off that effect in, in the sense that if my opponent has two or more rested Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP. Um, it's really great for Hercules Kabuterimon because he only has 10k DP, which is uh, fairly low in my opinion for a level six. Now I'm going to my rookies here. I've got uh, three copies of Tentomon when attacking. Um, rest one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. Obviously we're, we're trying to get to rest uh, my opponent's Digimon so I can freely attack them and run the piercing effect. Um, and this Agumon that I've got right here is just to increase my opponent's, uh, well, my Digimon DP um, to, you know, once again, take care of security, take care of my opponent's Digimon. Um, through battle. Um, I've got three copies of Monodromon, just a quick uh, two cost that I can put on the board, has very fairly decent DP at 3000 and um, makes a good, uh, it's pretty sticky uh, a rookie if it just stays on the board until you get your champion out. Um, I'm running three copies of Biomon, uh, once again the exact same card as Monodromon really, but you know, I'm running the Garudamon line minus Bergermon, so <laughs> Here we go. I've got three copies of this Biomon um, from the booster set one, which has an inheritable effect that says on my turn, if the Digimon is blocked, it gets 2000 DP. Really great effect when um, your opponent tries to block you, obviously, because you get that boost in DP and that might mean the difference between surviving the block. Um, but that's it. I'm going into my champions now and I've got four copies of Vegemon. I want to get to H. Kabuterimon as quick as possible, and Vegemon's one of the champion Digimon that will do that with only a 1 evolution cost. And at 6 DP, it is actually about the same DP as your typical level 4 blocker, so you can just run it right into one of your opponent's blockers if that's what you're into. But once again, this deck wants to get to Mega and get to the Piercing Digimon, which we'll get to in a moment. Now two copies of Woodmon here, just your average level 4 blocker. Really cool Digimon, I first met him at Digimon World 2, uh, the game on the PlayStation, and uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. But two cost to play, and five cost to, well, two cost to, ev uh, two evolution cost, and five cost to actually put on the board, so um, not too bad there. I'm running three copies of Dark Tyranimon. Obviously, once again, just get to the Mega, get to Break Dramon as soon as possible, and at 6k DP, it's a pretty strong Digimon. Also really cool looking. <laughs> three copies of Greymon, just to keep adding on to that DP, putting pressure on my opponent's board, and sometimes that's all you need um, to kind of prevent your opponent from doing a security check because they don't want to rest their Digimon, right? Until they draw into something more powerful. Um, so pretty good overall one copy of cherry mon you know just in case um, the situation calls for it uh, I have a gameplay that I posted on my YouTube actually channel on this channel actually with regards to facing a rookie rush deck and cherry mon actually came in clutch especially when gorilla mon was one of the few champions that my opponent ran three copies of lily mon once again we are looking to rest my opponent's Digimon so that I can run through them with piercing so when attacking inheritable effect rest one of your opponent's Digimon without blocker so pretty pretty strong effect there three copies of ground Dramon, another 
relatively uh, cost-effective evolution source here, so you can digivolve into the Break Dramon, which I really want to get into. And at 6k DP, it's fairly on the lower end, I think, of Ultimate Digimon, but it is what it is. It's also a 5 cost to play, so it's really not that bad to just put on the board and get to Break Dramon ASAP. Three copies of Garudamon. So if you're not getting into your Break Dramons, if you're struggling with your H Kabuterimons, at least you have Garudamon with piercing. Um, that way, uh, the boosted uh, DP as a result of the Biomon, the Greymon, and Tai, which we'll see in a second, will hopefully give him enough power to break through a lot of blockers and um, survive security checks. So getting into the Megas, the exciting part, we've got three copies of H Kabuterimon, so piercing after this Digimon is destroyed, an opponent's Digimon because of battle, um, do a security check. So that's the premise of this deck, just to get through security by kind of like handling my opponent's board and their Digimon. So after attacking twice per turn, I may actually be able to pay memory in order to make him active again, which is pretty nuts. Three copies of Break Dramon, three costs to play, level 6 at 11k DP, it's a little lower than the average, um, I guess than the average uh, level 6 Digimon, uh, probably average, um, but it's also got the piercing effect which allows me to take care of my opponent's board and get a security check in. So really like that, and Tai, two copies of Tai very low cost tamer but has a really good um, return on investment for that two memory by providing all of my Digimon whether it's green or red with 1000 DP. So really good boost for H Kabuterimon just to get up to 11k and hopefully survive um, some checks or some attack some Digimon without any issues and obviously the more DP on Break Dramon the better. So Mimi is here just to get um, my Digimon out from the hatching or raising area. Um, it's also so I can hatch uh, some Digimon, uh, some Tamas. Um, start of my turn, if your memory is 2 or less it becomes 3, so Mimi is also a good source of kind of having that base 3 memory in order to do some things with this deck. Um, if I have a level 5 or more green Digimon as a result of Cherrymon or Lilymon, that's when I can do the hatching effect or the moving a level 3 or more Digimon from raising into the battle area. Um, really love it when my opponent checks security and Mimi comes out because I don't need to pay the 4 cost. And one of the main security, the only option really in this uh, deck are 3 copies of Flower Cannon which is 1 rest one of your opponent's Digimon or security rest all of your opponent's Digimon without blocker. So I love that Flower Cannon's only a two cost to play. I can immediately rest one of my opponent's Digimon um, on play from my hand in order to um, run the piercing effect. The best is when my opponent actually attacks into security and Flower Cannon comes out. And I've got any of my piercing Digimon out, whether it's Garudamon, H Kabuterimon, or Break Dramon. Um, it's just gonna be like a, a piercing fest, so it's a lot of fun actually. Um, that said, this deck has quite a few weaknesses. Obviously, it's a little on the slower end because it doesn't really become a threat until I get to my Garudamon, H Kabuterimon, or Break Dramon. In addition to that, another hurdle it faces is actually getting enough DP through the inheritable effects and tie. Um, also, you can be pretty unlucky with regards to you know the ratios that you get. I drew a hand in the gameplay um, that'll be posted up on my YouTube channel where it was all green Digimon, and with a ratio of four to one uh, in the Tama section, I actually wasn't able to use any of those Agumons, those green Agumons I had to um, get a free evolution from the baby, so I had to play it uh, on the board. That said though, very rewarding deck to play because any deck I personally make, in my opinion, when I get a win feels really good. It's got, it's got that unique personal touch um, that makes me feel pretty nice whenever I win. <laughs> 
but when it bricks obviously it's gonna brick it is what it is once again um i make these decks for fun let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if there's anything you want me to update let me know i love getting suggestions and testing it out so uh yeah with that said peace